everyone, welcome back to Coral Joy Travel. Last week a subscriber of mine, Melissa, asked me to make a video about the different Disney resorts. So I'm going to do that today. So definitely stay tuned throughout the entire video because there's lots of really good information, um, some information that might be new to you. So stay tuned. So most of you probably know that there are different types of resorts that Disney offers its guests. They offer value resorts, moderate resorts, and deluxe resorts. And I'm going to cover all three of these categories. Now we are at the deluxe resort. So I'm going to break down the deluxe resorts. Deluxe resorts, you will see their architecture on the outside is incredibly themed and all of the rooms are inside so they are all interior rooms we have the yacht and beach club we have the boardwalk inn we have animal kingdom lodge and we have wilderness lodge as well as saratoga springs and old key west these deluxe resorts are not on the monorail but these are deluxe resorts. These deluxe resorts offer guests not only all of the amenities that the moderate resorts have with the water slide and the pool and the table service restaurants and the incredible theming times two, and they also include a signature restaurant. So not just a regular sit down table service restaurant, but a table service restaurant, if you're on the Disney dining plan, that takes two dining credits. So you know that's a signature restaurant, a little more expensive. Sometimes there's even a dress code that goes along with some of those, of, of those restaurants. So all deluxe resorts have a signature restaurant as well. Some of these deluxe resorts even have salons and spa services, which you know, you can see, not all of them do, but some of them do. So you'll notice the deluxe resorts, their rooms are the largest. You still have queen size beds, um, unless, unless of course you just want one king bed. If you have just two people in your room, that can be an option. But if there's four people in your room, you will get two queen size beds. And often these rooms also include either a day bed or um, a pull out like sofa bed as well. So deluxe resorts just have more. It's a little more grandiose. And another option that all deluxe resorts offer is something called a concierge club level. So this is kind of even above and beyond. If you want to have a concierge on your floor that you can get a hold of from 7 in the morning until 10 p.m. at night and also be allowed to have um, snacks throughout the day, which is all included, um, some beers and wines and hors d'oeuvres and appetizers and desserts in the evening. These are something that's offered with Disney Deluxe Resorts club level, but only at the Deluxe Resorts, not at moderate or value. So there's just a lot more that the deluxe resorts offer. Again, the price tag is the highest at the deluxe resorts. So my favorite deluxe resorts out of this category is the beach club. The beach and the yacht club are right next to each other, like literally right next to each other. I And they share this amazing storm along bay pool that has a lazy river and a water slide and a pirate ship. I mean, it's awesome. It is really cool. Even a sand on the floor of the pool. So I love the beach club. It's convenience to walking to Epcot, walking to Hollywood Studios. I love that. And that's another thing I forgot to mention, transportation. Transportation from deluxe resorts is different because it's not only buses. Yes, you will have to take a bus to some of the theme parks, but typically you have the convenience of either taking a water shuttle to a theme park, walking to a theme park, 
Like I just mentioned, you can do from the beach club or the yacht club or bard walk-ins. You can walk to Hollywood Studios and Epcot. Um, so it gives you those extra conveniences. Yes, you're paying a little bit more, but it's the services that you are receiving that make it worth it if you can afford it. The Animal Kingdom Lodge is the, that's the exception. That resort, you have to take a bus to all of the theme parks. What you get with that resort is a savanna and you get giraffes in your backyard. So that's pretty darn cool um, if you stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. And the theming in that resort is unbelievable. And the food at that resort is spectacular. Boma and Sanaa and oh my word, the food at Animal Kingdom is whew, the lodge. Now let me talk to you about the deluxe resorts that are on the monorail. So there is the Contemporary Resort, there is Disney's Polynesian Resort, and the most famous Grand Floridian Resort. These three are on the monorail. And the monorail is that train system that goes around in a loop around the, to the Magic Kingdom and back, okay? There is also a monorail line that will take you to Epcot, but I'm specifically talking about the resorts that are right around the circle loop from Magic Kingdom. These resorts are the most expensive resorts on Disney property because they do offer the most conveniences. When we think of Magic Kingdom, often a most young children want to stay or most young children are intrigued by Cinderella Castle. They want to see Mickey and Minnie. They want to see the princesses. The center, the heart of Walt Disney World is the Magic Kingdom. And that is why they created these three deluxe grand resorts to reside around the property. And it makes it very convenient if families need to go back to their rooms, let their little ones rest, relax at the pool, and then get back on into the Magic Kingdom theme park the rest of the afternoon. It just adds a touch of convenience. Yes, there is a price tag to that, but it is very convenient. Do I have a favorite deluxe monorail resort? Mm. No, <laughs> all three of them are absolutely spectacular. The contemporary is very modern. The Polynesian is so tropical and lush and the Grand Floridian is just grand. You feel just spectacular just walking in the resort. So all three of those are my favorites. I, I, I could not choose one favorite. So I hope this information was helpful for you. I know it's a lot of information. So what does it boil down to? We have value resorts, we have moderate resorts, we have deluxe resorts. Disney will cater to every single budget. It's great because no matter where you are staying, you will get all of the perks of staying on Disney property. So no matter what, you will get all of the same experiences in the theme parks. It doesn't matter where you're staying. I hope this information was helpful. If it was to you, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe and share this with friends who love Disney or who want to go to Disney and need some assistance. Share this information with them and hopefully it'll help them out. If you would like some assistance planning a Disney trip in the future, Contact me, my information is in the description box below. And other than that, have a great day and I'll see you guys real soon. Take care, bye guys.